Hello, welcome to the presentation of paper Column Resolution Impacts on 3D Open Pit Stability. My name is Marina Trevisoli. Uh, I'll be presenting uh, this paper for you today. And uh, the research was done in partnership with my two colleagues, Maury Fredland and Haihu Alu. We are all part of Bentley Systems. So the agenda and what to expect when reading the paper uh, basically, I'm highlighting here on these five uh, bullet points, but understanding uh, the importance of using 3D limited degree analysis for complex open pit cases uh, also uh, will bring some of the concepts of column resolution in limited equilibrium analysis and why uh, is it uh, so important in the calculation. Uh, we'll proceed with the analysis scenarios of uh, complex concave and convex sidewalls of a real open pit case. And by doing this, we'll be able to conceptualize the use of uh, column radio for the modeling setting criteria that can be replicated in any case. Uh, finally, there are some recommendations on the analysis procedure to reach uh, reliable re results uh, with uh, the setting of appropriate column resolution. So the introduction uh, will highlight uh, the importance, especially for open pit cases uh, that are structures with uh, a highly uh, geometry effect on the factor of safety. And uh, besides that, we really need to dive in the 3D uh, world for the slope stability analysis, but also understand the real influence of the column resolution. Uh, in 2D, we tend to define, um, the, subdivide the limited equilibrium result of a sliding mass into slices. In 3D, we basically subdivide the module into columns, and then we can actually compose the grid surface of our model, as you can see here representing. Uh, in this image. Uh, and at the base of each of the columns, so uh, it's actually where the analysis will take place in terms of the influence of all parameters. It can be the material properties, water pressure, normal forces, and shear resistance mobilized in the analysis. So you can imagine that uh, uh, the refinement or not of such grid will certainly influence on the sliding mass and consequently, uh, in, not only in the shape, but also in the factor of safety. Uh, some studies have concluded that uh, the difference we tend to obtain on the factor of safety uh, result may occur from different ways uh, we discretize the, the failure mass in the soil column. And more important here is that all the columns we define will basically compose the grid surface used in the limit equilibrium calculation. Let's take a look on the methodology, so the grid resolution analysis. Uh, we have considered a case study of an open pit located in Australia that is utilized for iron ore extraction. And uh, this chosen model presents, as you can see here, really complex geometry uh, involving uh, benched topology and faults. Here you can see all the, also the water pressure. Uh, we chose to proceed with Plexus 3 DLE uh, for the analysis because it provides uh, highly efficient capabilities not only on the sensitivity of grid resolution but also on advanced features as multiplane analysis that are actually important for the methodology in place. Uh, we can see here uh, some, some more concepts in terms of the column resolution. Uh, the the visualization of the grid uh, for this specific case when we have a really low quality of grid and a really high quality of grid. Uh, for the study in place, we had to define different scenarios by varying the, the column, uh, let's say, uh, quality and the consequent result. So for doing this, we decided to define what we call a column radio, which is basically the road width divided by the bench height. In this case, the bench height had about 10 meters, so we could keep this uh, this variable constant. And as we can see here, 
the higher the column resolution, 6.6, .6, the lower the column, um, the, the quality, right, of the grid surface. And 0 0.5, it's a much more refined resolution, but consequently influencing other aspects of the analysis as calculation time. But also certainly more aligned with the top surface itself that we use to represent uh, this uh, geotechnical model. Uh, some of the results that we have mapped during the methodology refer to the use of square and rectangular grid resolution. When I mention rectangular, it means that I will vary the row and slices, uh, for example, keeping the row constant and varying only the slices and so on. And we notice by plotting the, the column resolution with factor of safety and calculation time that at a certain point of the refinement of column resolution, we reach the factor of safety plateau. So it means that we the analysis converts to almost content factor of safety. Of course, there are some fluctuations, but uh, it indicates that uh, we are under, let's say, a stable scenario. But we cannot only rely on that. We also need to do the what we call visual, visual checking, because this is also a key aspect for mapping the appropriate color resolution of the model. And we can see here, uh, the, and having as reference the, the the, the critical refinement here of 0 0.5 column radi radio compared to the case of column radio 1 when we actually start reaching the plateau of the factor of safety. So uh, this actually highlights that uh, uh, even at the point of uh, reaching the plateau, it's not enough to get, a, let's say, a reliable uh, understanding uh, and we need to proceed with further uh, detailing and exploration right so in that sense uh, the rectangular grid surface used uh, was defined for a better understanding of the lateral geometry uh, that is represented in the concavity of the open pit so the intention was to better to confirm actually that it, that there is a better representation of the lateral geometry geometric sliding surface when we increase the number of slices uh, when concave zip surface shapes are presented. We were able to conclude that the slices variation in the analysis uh, requires less resolution for reliable results than row resolutions for bench market. And the whole analysis leads us to uh, what we, we believe in ad adequate column resolution uh, for, for the, the, the case study in question. The third aspect of the methodology was referring to the map of the factor of safety contour map uh, analysis. Uh, it's well known that large open pit models uh, require slope stability analysis around several regions uh, of the model, right? So we are not only analyzing this portion here, but actually the whole site. And uh, due to the geometric changes and isotropic condition, uh, it's actually a common practice to verify the factor of safety in different plane locations, as we did for this third step. Uh, it, it's also known that if choosing to proceed with a highest column resolution, it will significantly increase the calculation time. So basically, we mapped at this step uh, using the multiplane analysis, or better, reaching the, uh, what we call here the factor of safety contour map, to use as a reference for proof of concept that a very refined model of the column radio 0.4, it's uh, aligned with a column radio that is that relates to only 25% of the calculation time of this uh, model B here. And it provides the same uh, areas of uh, critical zones, right? So uh, in that sense, um, we can see that the shadings translate an understanding of the potential failure, uh, slope stability regions, and uh, both are in a better, in a good uh, agreement of results, right? And this will actually finally validate that the methodology uh, was well applied for this case in respecting a certain column radio. Some of the conclusions and recommendations of this paper, uh, we got to understanding that um, different intervals of column resolution settings uh, will lead 
to a certain factor of safety plateau at a certain time of the analysis. And this graph, the, this starting point of the graph, uh, has the potential to guide the, the idea of a, a ideal possible uh, column resolution. Uh, it's recommended uh, the model settings to consider the condition of row slices spacing less than or equal to the bench height as a starting point for reaching the factor of safety plateau. And more than that, finally, when proceeding with the MPA analysis, it has proved that the large devaluation of the open pit sites can result in a similar um, factor of safety interpretation and critical spatial location when selecting an accurate column resolution that is aligned to an, an adaptable uh, calculation time and result. So that was it. I appreciate. Thank you. And any questions, here's my email for contact.